It's no secret that the Last of Us launch on PC is up there with the worst PC ports of the year. But on the bright side, Naughty Dog and Iron Galaxy have been frequently releasing patches to fix and improve the game for a month now. And their latest patch is 1.0.4.1, which follows a more substantial and bigger patch 1.0.4.0. So in this video, we'll take a look at both patches and compare them to the previous 1.0.3.0 and see what's new and how they impact the CPU and GPU performance. So let's get going. Let's start with building shaders. You already know that this game takes a lot of time to build its shaders. And here if we compare the previous patch 1.0.3.0 with the latest 1.0.4.1, we can see that the latest patch took around 32 minutes to complete this process, which is 3 minutes faster compared to 1.0.3.0 which took around 35 minutes. The patch note of 1.0.4.0 mentioned optimized CPU and GPU use throughout the game. And here if we compare 1.0.4.1 to the previous 1.0.3.0, in this CPU limited scene, we can see that the CPU usage is almost identical, with more VRAM and less RAM usage with the newest patch. And performance wise and average, the newest patch has a small 2% advantage with almost identical 1% low, but a much better 1% low compared to 1.0.3.0 which indicates more stability and less stuttering with the new patch. And here in a GPU limited scene, similar story, more VRAM and RAM usage with the newest patch, and almost identical performance with slightly better 0.1% low in favor of 1.0.4.1. The patch note also mentioned improved texture fidelity and resolution on in-game low and medium settings. And here if we compare low environment texture and 1.0.3.0 with 1.0.4.1, we can see that there is no difference between the two versions. However, comparing medium options shows a big improvement in texture fidelity in the latest patch, as you can see here. And speaking of textures, 1.0.4.0 introduced a new setting called Texture Streaming Rate, which controls the speed at which textures are loaded. So for example, using X1.0 can sometimes cause texture popping like here. And this setting can really helps with the VRAM usage. Going from X1.0 to X1.25 adds around 700 megabytes to the VRAM usage. And going beyond to X1.5 adds an additional 240 megabytes. Here the patch note mentioned improved graphical fidelity on in-game low graphics presets, particularly water surfaces no longer appear black. And this one talks about image-based lighting, because using low graphics presets turn off this setting, which makes some water surfaces look black like here. But now with the new patch this does not happen anymore. However, this setting still affects ripples like here, for example. And as I mentioned in my optimization guide video, this setting has negligible performance impact and you should always keep it on. And that's it for this one, as these are the most critical performance and visual changes that the patch 1.0.4.0 bring to the game. And even though these new patches didn't significantly improve the performance, at least on my system, they give the game more stability and significantly improve texture quality when using medium. And texture streaming rate setting is a welcome addition that should give users with low amount of VRAM more options when it comes to textures. And right now, I want to hear from you guys. Have you noticed better performance with this newest patch? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.